Hello again, uh, Joe Jones. Wanted to welcome you guys to the kind of reconfigured, repainted gym. You guys will remember that it used to have the electrostatic line. This is the gym that's actually formally attached to the Health and Wellness Center. Uh, we took all of the equipment out, basically completely routed it except for the dumbbells and the benches. And you'll see the Smith machine still is still over in the corner with some medicine balls and kettlebells and stuff like that. Everything else has been replaced. We'll kind of go through it a little bit. Uh, I already sent out some really basic videos about the newer pieces of equipment like the inverse curl, the plyo swing, and the belt squat, but we'll just kind of show you what ours look like um, and give you just a kind of brief rundown of what it looks like now, just in case you haven't had the chance to come down and visit yet. So come on in. This first one right here, right outside the, the hallway to the Health and Wellness Center is uh, the inverse curl. Y'all, I hope, saw that video. If you didn't, just breeze back through your email, check out the uh, brief instructional video. Basically, it's a counterbalance. The more weight you put on this swing arm, the less work you have to do. So uh, if you have really strong hamstrings, then you may not need this at all, and you can just fold it down so that it's not used at all and take it all the way down to nothing. And it's completely out of use if you have really strong hamstrings. But if you need to build up, and that's cool, we all do, um, then just bring the swing arm back up, load up some weight here, and that's, that's less resistance on your hamstrings. So. That's the whole inverse curl concept. This one right here is the uh, plyo swing. Um, it's a west side specific tool that we invested in uh, largely to build up the lower body, build the base, the foundation. If we have a strong foundation, then uh, you know, hopefully we have strong bodies. But this is for speed, explosiveness, and strength through the hips, quads, hams, glutes, etc. cetera. Um, this is what our plyo swing looks like. We have tested it to see if it'll you know, bang into the blue wall behind it, and so far it, it doesn't. There's a kind of a restrictor on it. Over here in the corner, this is our assault bike. Not a whole lot to look at, but it's also brutal as far as cardiovascular system is concerned. So this is the assault bike. Uh, some of you, if anybody follows CrossFit games, I'm not advocating CrossFit necessarily over anything else, but if anybody follows CrossFit games, they use the assault bikes in the last ones. Um, basically, it's a you know, it's one of those Airdyne bikes and they are absolutely brutal. Been around since the 70s. Fantastic piece of equipment. This is kind of our new style elliptical. It doesn't go straight way. It goes side to side. You want to talk about a good workout. I never gave ellipticals any credit whatsoever uh, until I was introduced to this little guy right here. Brutal piece of machinery. New treadmill. You see Danny on the new elliptical. We replaced our, our Stairmaster with a step mill. So one of, the, one of the items that we always got, the feedback items that we always got from folks coming down here and working out is they didn't want to step a, uh, a stair mill so much as they wanted a, a step mill or a stair master so much as they wanted a step mill. So this is one kind of like you see down at training, kind of like you saw in CPAT where the steps actually come out at you instead of having two arms that you just sit there and stomp down on. This is another elliptical. This is the exact same thing that Danny's working right now. Um, there's twins. Um, this is the same treadmill that's down there. Again, it's a twin, just in case we have multiple people that want to use the same thing. Uh, we got a spin bike for those of you who are into spinning. Um, good way to mix up a workout, good way to get some cardio in. Another television screen. This is the belt squat. Those of you who aren't really familiar with the belt squat, uh, the fantastic thing about belt squat is it provides a, a slight traction effect on the uh, lower back. Uh, and it still enables you, for those of you who may have some kind of injury, through the lumbar, thoracic, cervical spine that doesn't enable you to do squats, conventionally speaking, loading, top loading. Uh, it enables you to load across the back of your hips and still do a squat movement. So this is a great, great little, I, I dare call it a machine, but it is a machine. Um, for those of you who, it provides that little bit of traction on the hips and it still enables some of, uh, some of our sisters and brothers who may not be able to do a conventional squat the chance to do some kind of squatting movement for strength. Uh, down in the base. Got various crash pads over here. We got our kettlebells, medicine balls. Here's the Smith machine that was here before with the pull-up attachments and all that stuff. You guys are familiar with that. It's been here for since we opened. Um, the dumbbells are still here with the benches. And then right here in the middle, uh, we have what's, uh, what's known as a, a Rogue R3 flat foot uh, power rack. It's called a flat foot because it does not have to be anchored and drilled into the ground. So this particular model right here is exactly 
what's going out to all 51 stations. Um, the reason that we selected this model is A, it's a monster series, so it's seven gauge steel, um, bomb proof. Although it's bomb proof, I don't necessarily guarantee that it's firefighter proof because we're pretty tough. So, well, you guys are pretty tough anyways. So, but hopefully it, hopefully it endures, you know, um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, it comes with a pin and pipe safety system. So that way, if you're doing heavy squats or heavy bench or something like that, um, you just get in there and, you know, you just adjust it accordingly. Set your safeties wherever you want them and then, you know, get after it. Uh, that would be working within the rack. You can also load off the front of the rack or the back of the rack. There really is no front or back. It's all dependent on what you want to do. Um, but obviously the safeties are designed for the inside. Um, you know, just be cautious with your barbells. Um, try not to, to drop them. You know, stuff happens, but hopefully we don't drop them intentionally because that might bend up our barbells. <clears throat> A little side note editorial. But uh, these are the R. R3 flat foots that are going out to all the stations. You'll see there's twins. There's one sitting right next to it. So that way if you all come down here and you want to hit some power stuff or some strength work or something like that or some rack work, you don't have to go over to the other gym. Um, you can do it right here, plus the cardio equipment's right there. You know, you can mix it up. You can do whatever you want to do, uh, however you want to do it. We do have a barbell right here. Um, we'll probably bring over a couple more barbells from the other gym. So that way we've got enough equipment to go around over here. As usual, and as customary, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Any questions about equipment, gear, philosophy, technique, whatever. We do have athletic trainers. We do have fitness trainers within the San Antonio Fire Department, and we are more than willing to help out. So I uh, look forward to hearing back from you. I uh, look forward to seeing more of you down here. And uh, y'all take care.